Hi, this is Capstone Live with Michael Dahl. I'm quiet because I'm in a library. I, I know you can be loud in some, but not in this one. But I want to ask you a question. When you are in a library and you pull a book off the shelf, do you ever wonder, how did it get there in the first place? In order to find out, I took a special trip to see Capstone's secret warehouse, hidden in plain sight. It's Capstone's version of Fort Knox. Here we are at Capstone's Book Warehouse in Mankato, Minnesota, in February. You can tell, right? Well, come on inside. You are going to love what I'm going to show you. Books. More books. And even more books. This place is a reader's dream. I know the students at Riverwood Elementary are waiting for this book. It's a great series. I just had to read it first. Ooh. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you pick books. Now, when I say the word pick, that's not like a special technical word. It means pick, like you're picking things up. People use a special handheld device. They scan along all of these shelves. They find out the kind of book that they need. Oh. For instance, I need one of these. In fact, I need 10 of them. And it shows me right here. And then I put it on the cart, I wheel away, and I go to the next one. So think about when you order, I don't know, 15 or 20 books, or, or maybe your school needs 100 books. Someone has to pick them all one by one. So it takes a lot of time. Some books get picked from really high places. Did I mention I have a fear of heights? Can someone remove my hand from the bar? Then once you have picked all of your books, you have to make sure that they go on one of these carts in the order that you pick them up. Oh, this is cool. Kylie Jean craft books. Those are fun. They go with the Kylie Jean novels. Spa projects from the Sleepover Girls. I hope they remember that there are also Sleepover Girl books. That would be a nice pairing. One of my favorites, magic tricks. I love magic tricks. Have you ever seen that series that we also have? It's called Hocus Pocus Hotel. Great series. <clears throat> well, I've got to put these away. <clears throat> Once the books go on the carts in the right order, then they go to processing. One of the things in processing is these cool like stickers, they go on every single book. And what they do is when the librarian gets her new order, she can open up her box, put the books right on the shelf. Everything's done for her. Those books are ready to check out. So that's just one thing. So let's go look at the amazing processing machine. There's no machine. It's people like Kathy, Denise, Pam. They have to do all that by hand, putting those stickers on. And not only that, they have to make sure they are straight, they're accurate, they're in just the right location, because some schools and libraries like them in different places. Now, these are the kind of people you want wrapping your Christmas presents. This is why they don't let me work here. Once the books get picked and processed, then they get packed and then shipped. When you order lots of books, we want to make sure they all stay together, so then they go into this really cool wrapping machine. It's the Cobra 32. Some people only have 31. This is Jay Thomas. He is the warehouse manager. I had a question. Uh, Jay, how many books do you think at any one time are here in the warehouse? We have what would be a floating average of roughly 11 million books in the building at any time. Oh my gosh. I was going to say maybe like 2 million. 11 million? 11 million. <laughs> Wow. Oh, uh, can I ask you another question? Uh, certainly. Uh, would you let me ride or drive one of those forklifts? Uh, after last year, I would have to pass. Thank oh, you. Okay. Okay. I don't want to go into details, but they don't let me drive these anymore because of what happened last year. People make mistakes. 
Well, thanks for coming with me to the warehouse. You can see what a cool place it is. And wouldn't it be fun to work here, especially if you love books? There are so many cool treasures here. I mean, real treasures. Things that are so special, I can't even talk about them. Well, until next time. <clears throat>